Today is one of those days where, for no reason at all, I want to make some pumpkin rolls. So therefore I'm gonna simplify dinner making. So I'm gonna take some shortcuts. For example, instead of making rice, I'm gonna have these. And I have chicken in the fridge. And I'm just gonna chop that up. And with some vegetables, I'm gonna use this simmer sauce to make uh, butter chicken. So it's not a recipe, it's just a process to show you that you don't have to feel guilty if you're not cooking from scratch every day. I don't. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, heat this pot up and I think I'm gonna use butter for the butter chicken. So to start with I'm gonna use two tablespoons of butter and while I'm chopping up my chicken I'm gonna get this going and I'm gonna use some carrots as my vegetable item so it's not gonna be just purely chicken and of course I have cut up um, carrots from last September in the freezer comes very handy four chicken ties skinless boneless still somewhat frozen. up high heat and put some salt in it just letting you know that it's five o'clock so while this is cooking I'm gonna keep an eye on it obviously I can start with my pumpkin roll recipe which I have another video on that for details so I'm not gonna talk about the recipe too much just the process again And I do have written recipes because a lot of ingredients and I want to make sure I don't miss any. So first thing I'm gonna mix up the cake part and while I'm doing that I'm gonna preheat the oven for 375. This doesn't take a lot of flour at all. And again, you can find my recipe, I'll put a card up here to the video and you will be able to uh, watch that separately from here. Let's see, we need salt, I need nutmeg, cinnamon, baking soda, baking powder and ginger. For the first thing I'm going to do the nutmeg, because I want to freshly Grade it. A quarter teaspoon of ginger powder, and I'm saying that to myself only. Teaspoon of cinnamon. Uh, half teaspoon of each baking powder and baking soda. And that's it for the dry ingredients and all. This up so it's even. You're supposed to use a different bowl for your wet ingredients. I'm not gonna. Um, I will need three eggs. Again, we are doing it the lazy way, less dishes to wash.
and it turns out just fine every time. I made a reflect perfect every time. I made this many, many, many times. Two eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla, a cup of sugar. And I'm gonna mix this up, and I also need the pumpkin, which I haven't dealt with. Um, for the pumpkin, is gonna come out of the freezer. I did not do anything with that yet. So what I'm trying to do is, in the middle of my bowl, I'm just mixing the egg uh, with the uh, the sugar and vanilla. So I'm not really mixing it with the flour yet, but it's picking up, it's fine. Okay. And then next I'm gonna have to deal with my pumpkin and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually cook it a little bit because it has been blanched when I froze it. Again, there's another video about that. So here's the pumpkin. I'm not gonna put all this pumpkin in it, but I'm gonna cook them all. So I'll just cook this in some water. And for this one, I'm gonna use a mixer. So I already put out the butter and the cream cheese uh, about an hour ago when I thought about making this today because you want them soft so it takes a, almost a stick of butter, 6 teaspoons of butter a whole 8 ounces of cream cheese and for this one if I have any I'm gonna use powdered sugar and I still need some vanilla. A teaspoon of vanilla into this one as well. Okay, one cup of powdered sugar. That's it, I'll just mix that up. Keep an eye on my chicken. Try to not have the powdered sugar go all over the place. Now. I'm going to use these beaters to finalize my cake parts of, of the roll. So I need to prepare the pan with parchment paper. needs to be big enough to go up on the sides because <clears throat> the cake that you're baking is going to be about this thick and 
then I can fold the corners like that. Crease them a little bit so they stay put in the shape while I'm putting the, uh, the batter in it. Looks good. Now we're gonna put in the sauce. And a little bit of water. So I'm gonna use, and it doesn't tell you to put water, but I will. Because I'm gonna want more salt than this. And also, it will cook down a little, so I like it salty. Like that. So now my jar is clean, I can recycle it, and I have enough sauce. And simmer it for about 12 minutes per instruction. And while I'm doing that, squeezing the liquid out of it, well, maybe the water, <clears throat> I'm also smashing it, because that's what I'm going to need. Smashed pumpkins. Oops, I lost one. Okay, so... For the pumpkin roll, I need about a cup only. That's about it. And the rest is going to go into the fridge. So I can cook it tomorrow for pumpkin soup. Maybe tomorrow or the day after. Okay. I'm gonna use a lot of hand mixer to finish this up. And that's how it should be. You don't want to mix it with the hand mixer too long because it already has the flour and you don't want gluten to form and make it into bread. Okay, so this is ready to go into the oven that already has warmed up right a while ago. And I'll take you with me. Oops. Here I have the pre prepared um, pan with the parchment on it. And just make sure that you don't have any flour stuck at the bottom of the bowl. Now it's ready to be poured over. This is a very easy sponge for this cake. And all we have to make sure is that it's evenly spread, especially in the corners because they kind of stand up a little bit. So you want to push it down a little. And you're going to spread this fairly thinly. As I said, it will puff up a little bit. But when it comes to the initial spread, it will be liquidy and thin to make sure there are no bubbles and now I'm gonna go into the oven for about 15 minutes after 13 minutes I'm gonna look at it because you don't want it too hard either because you will be not able to roll it up if it's too hard but if it's too soft then it's still liquidy right so I'm just gonna do it fresh. Up to 
just like that. The chicken is cooked. Give it a last stir. Before I set it aside. The next thing I'm gonna do is heat up the pre-cooked rice. And the reason I bought this is because it also have um, some garlic in it, some salt, olive oil, and it has <clears throat> a couple of different kind of grains. So that was attractive to me. That's why I bought it because to make plain old rice, it's very easy. So let's try this today. Um, it says I need to open it all a bit. seconds we'll see so this is in water right now just to stay fresh so, take some leaves there are small leaves remember I was just chopping off the um, the flowery parts so it's not that fresh it's two days old but I could probably go out and get some more fresh ones but I kind of want to use this as much as possible I don't feel like I'm wasting. Since this is not much, I can just do it with a small knife. Some big servings. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a third serving out of these two. Again for tomorrow's lunch. Because I think those are just too much. Start with one ladle per serving, and then I'll come back and put some more. Mm -mm -mm. I think that looks delicious. So you know it's done because you see all these craters from the bubbles and you see on the side that it is uh, solid and if you touch it it's just spongy but not liquidy and I already put a toothpick in it so I know it's not uh, liquidy. Okay so I'm gonna take this to the other side and show you what's next. I just grab it by the parchment paper that is baked in and I'm gonna flip it over to the new parchment paper while it's still stuck around the edges. Flip it over and now while it's still hot, well you we can wait a little bit but don't wait too long, you will be able to peel off a parchment that is baked in and sometimes you want to start from multiple corners so it doesn't tear like that So now 
now I'm gonna roll this up and I like to make small rolls so I'm gonna roll it length across the length if you want bigger rolls then you roll it the short side and that will allow me to preform it into a roll and then come back when it's cool to put in the filling so this is how it should be nice and flexible and somewhat wet to the touch and I just sit it here and wait for it to cool off and just to let you know I'm gonna serve my dinner with homemade home canned uh, kimchi from last July and I will make it a perfect meal Making me very hungry. So see you in a little bit. Oh, it's 10 to 6, so I actually made good time. I cooked dinner and baked this roll um, in about 55 minutes, less than an hour. So it's been almost an hour. I'm gonna just fill this now with the cream, cream cheese and butter frosting. It's a little stiff. to be pretty just even and then just roll it up to its final stage and you can cut it right away or do what I do I'm just cut, cut up the edges and that will I will eat those <laughs> right away and then put this away to cool off a little more. I put this in the fridge for about 30 minutes and then I'll slice it up and this will be enough for us uh, for two days. At least I may freeze half of it and just eat one half. Time to cut this up now. But you could enjoy this. I sure will some of it and I will preserve the other half and put it in the freezer. I will see you next time.